two or three years ago. Never would have imagined being in the situation of being in an airport, about to go visit somebody who is having an affair with my girlfriend and his wife in the same place. That's David. All his life, he's wanted a loving relationship with a nice, simple girl. I don't know, we could have all have group sex in the hotel room with massage oil and uh, flambe cherries. But that's probably not going to happen. That's me, Maureen. I grew up expecting to settle down with one special guy. David and I loved each other, but we were beginning to want very different things. There was nothing wrong with David, but I was more interested in the idea of open relationships, of being free to love more than one person at a time. Why would she want to look elsewhere unless she didn't like or want something that I was able to provide for her? We set out to resolve this the way few couples would. We decided to make a film about it. Of more than one person at a time. David and I loved each other, but we were beginning to want very different things. Here's how it works. Tony has an intimate relationship with myself and Sandy. I have an intimate relationship with Tony and Sandy. Sandy has an intimate relationship with Kevin, and Kevin has an intimate relationship with Sandy. Read sex there. I'm, I'm starting to think I'm more flexible and experimental than you are. I'm able to say, hey, what about this? Or, ooh, what about that? And you're saying, no, marriage means this. Commitment means that. We grew up very traditionally in a little town in western Pennsylvania, and my idea was to have a basic monogamous house in the suburb. You know, we left an hour and a half ago, and I, I don't know, you guys go to watch a movie. I you left me alone with somebody who's very cute. This is so ludicrous. These two have sex, and they won't even look at each other when I'm in the room. I guess I'm shocked that you think that you could be as important to Will as I am. 